This screencast depicts what is called the analemma. The analemma is the figure that is traced out by the sun day after day over the course of an entire year as seen from the surface of the earth. This figure in the sky that is traced out once again is known as the analemma. Okay, now the person who took this photograph did so by doing the following. What this person did sometime in the late afternoon is they had a camera on a tripod and then they continuously photographed the sun day after day at the exact same time of day. They also took into account daylight savings time as they did on the same piece of film, thereby photographing the position of the sun in the sky every single day at the exact same time of day over the course of an entire year. This then results in the following figure called, once again, the analemma. Taking a photograph such as this basically involves an entire year's worth of time. Okay, so notice that the shape itself, first of all, is not a straight line, as you might expect on a celestial sphere. The reason for that is because if it was a straight line, that would mean that the Earth's orbit about the sun was perfectly circular and the Earth would be moving at a constant speed in its orbit. But that's not the case. The Earth moves in an elliptical orbit about the Sun, and when the Earth is a little bit closer to the Sun, this then means that it moves faster in its orbit, and when it's a little bit further away, this then means it moves more slowly in its orbit. So the Earth's varying orbital speed and the fact that the Earth's orbit about the Sun is not a perfect circle ultimately gives rise to this figure here. Okay, now there are four important points here on the analemma, if you will. First of all, let's begin here at the top when the sun is highest in the sky. Right here at the top, this would then correspond to the summer solstice. This would be June 21st. And then we have the bottom of the analemic like so. This is when the sun is lowest in the sky. This is assuming, by the way, that this photograph was taken in the northern hemisphere. This would then mean that this right here is the winter solstice. The two equinoxes are not the crossing off point. Instead, the two equinoxes are roughly here in the center of a diagram the vernal equinox and the autumnal equinox. The reason why the shape has an asymmetrical figure has to do with the following fact. When the Earth is furthest from the sun, that actually occurs in midsummer. It's in early July. And that's when the sun, the Earth, excuse me, is moving slowest in its orbit. So you don't see a large change in the position of the sun from day to day over the course of those couple of weeks near the summer solstice and just after because the Earth is moving more slowly in its orbit. However, down here, down here close to the winter solstice, it turns out in early January that this is when the Earth is closest to the Sun and is then therefore moving fastest in its orbit. So this is then therefore where you see the biggest change from day to day of the position of the Sun in the sky as seen from the Earth because the Earth is moving fastest in its orbit. Okay, this is, by the way, a really startling photograph because it took the person 365 days day after day of photographing the sun in order to produce this photograph. Here's another photograph of exactly the same thing, but in this particular case, the photographer basically just photographed the sun perhaps once per week over the course of the entire year. Once again, assuming that this photograph was taken somewhere in the northern hemisphere, then this would have been taken in the early morning hours as the sun is rising. Okay, here's a little bit more detail of a figure such as this. This graphic right here I got from a Washington Post article. This was detailing the analemma as it was seen from Washington, D.C. in the year 2011. So once again, we have right here the top of the analemma. The top of the analemma corresponds to June 21st. That's the summer solstice. Right over here are the equinoxes, like so. And then down over here is December 21st. Down over here is the winter solstice, like so. And then over here on the left-hand side, you can see for um, the reference, you could see the position of the Earth in its orbit as it orbits the Sun for the various days, for the various points here on the analemma itself. Once again, the Earth is moving more slowly in its orbit, right around here, which is in early summer. As I said earlier, we are, we're, we're moving more slowly in the orbit around early July. And then down over here, this is where the Earth is closest to the Sun. This is when it's moving fastest in its orbit. That then corresponds to early January, which is down here like so. Okay? Okay, so that concludes this screencast covering the analemma.